Hey guys, and welcome back to Snap Circuits Workshop 2. So, um, today in Electro Gadget 200, we are going to do um, Project 171 Synchronized Flasher. There. Alright, so let's, um, hold on. Wait a second. Um, how does it go? There we go. So, Project 171 Synchronized Flasher, let's get going. Let's place a B3 battery holder right here. So, 789DEF. Those are the dimensions. We need the Q2 NTM transistor. We're going to place that right here. 3D. Okay. Next, we need the RV adjustable resistor. Let's get that. There it is. Oh, shit, hang on. There we go. RV adjustable resistor right here. Next we need, um, let's get a five snap wire. Okay, found it. Here's a five snap wire. We're going to place that up here. Next, we need a four snap wire. Searching. Searching. I found it. Here's a four snap wire. We're going to place that down here. Next, we need a free snap wire right here. We need another free snap wire right here. Now we need two two snap wires. Let's put the the um, two snap wire right here and the other two snap wire right here. I just noticed something actually. Let me just take these two off. Why is it that, um, let me just focus it on here. Come on, focus. Good enough. But, like, why is it this two snap wire, um, the symbol that says two, um, there is, like, a lighter stroke, and this one's a bit bold. Because there are probably different brands that release the, the snap circuits and electro gadget. Let's just place them back on. Okay, let's place some, this one right here. And I have a feeling that... My, no, that's not. It's a layer one. We need a one snap wire. That always gets me. We'll get the rare variant. We're going to place that right here. Alright. Let's move on to layer two. Let's move on. Okay, now we need the Q1 PNP transistor, which is positive, negative, positive. Uh, we need the R3 transistor. No, that's a D3 dial from last project. R3, there he goes. Okay, let's um, place this R3 resistor right here. Um for layer 3. S2 press switch? No, we don't need for this project. But yes, we do need the S1 slide switch. We're going to place this right here. Pretty smooth. Um, Searching. There's the R3 resistor. I put it right there. D1 light emitting dial that's for layer four, uh, 3. L4 lamp socket, yes. We're going to place this L4 lamp socket right here. Okay, next we need the C3 and C4 capacitors. But C3 is just for um, layer 3. Okay. Got the C4 capacitor. We're going to place that right here. Oh, shoot. Just, uh, let's get... 
three twos, um, oh, no, 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 not three two snap bars, but two, three snap bars, and another two two snap bars, two three snap bars and two two snap bars. I'm smelling a bit of chicken downstairs. Um, but anyways, let's get a three snap bar right here. There we go. Let's put another three snap wire right here. Okay, now we need two more two snap wires. We're gonna place one two snap wire right here up here. And the other two snap wire down here. Alright. Next um we need the R1 and R2 resistors. Found R1, there's R2. Let's place the R1 resistor right here and the R2 resistor up here. Okay, now we need a one snap bar. Alright, let's put this one snap wire right here. And I think that might be it layer two. Let's move on to layer three. We need two two snap wires and a three C3 capacitor. That'll go on the um bridged they'll um bridge the two two NPN transistor. And what else? We need the D1 light emitting diode. That's gonna go right here. And then we, we're gonna get two two snap wires. place these two two snap wires one here and one here okay so I think that's it for this project let's test it let's turn it on let me try that again hold on hold on so the D1 light emitting diode lit first turned and then that lit up that turned off I am confused what is going on Oh, it's probably the adjustable resistor. Sorry, guys. I'm going to try moving. Oh, there you go. It's flashing. Because this project is called the synchronized flasher. Turn on the slide switch S1, which I already did. Slowly move the lever on the adjustable resistor until both the lamp and L4 and the light emitting diode are flashing. They will only flash together over a narrow range of the lever setting. Now I have to replace this light emitting diode with a WC whistle chip. Let's see what happens. Let me turn this off. Set that there. Let's place a WC whistle chip right here. Let's turn it back on. I can hear the WC whistle chip um, clicking a lot. That's, um... Since it's flashing at this speed, it's, kind, it's probably kind of like the U23 stroke integrated circuit from Snap Circuit's light. This one, the U23 strobe. Now I'm going to just move this. Oh, it's flashing a bit more. I mean, it's buzzing it's buzzing okay there there we go I did it it's kind of like the s3 relay when it like clicks here it's kind of like the s3 relay I wonder what happens when I m m mix the u23 stroke integrated circuit with the S3 relay as an output. I don't know. We'll find out someday. Until next time, I'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye.